I'm an idiot, that's why. They think I'm an idiot. You just get up and down, up and down. What yeah, are you doing? Up and down, up and down. So end game glass is pretty good against you. Mortal yeah. Coil is pretty decent against you. Yeah. You would know. Maybe he missed it. You never. Oh, he actually removed the um, Mortal Coil. I'm actually not expecting Kitten right now. Did she delete? Oh no. Ah, oh, you just said she. Oh he. Guess. Oh my god. He, she, it. I mean, it's probably just a guy, man. Doesn't the matter. Probably. You can watch the stream and correct it if it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going back and forth with he and she, so. So I wouldn't be surprised that we're going to see the uh, coin into the in-game boss next turn, because, I mean, pretty good. You don't need to actually uh, tap. You already know what you're playing against. You actually have some pretty good cards in this matchup against you. Wow. Uh, well, now MK boss is little bit weaker but no mk boss is still good because then you could actually do the cycle cthune to finish off that Voidwalker. double c giant opening that's not good oh but he does have the forbidden summoning oh yeah that's true forbidden summoning but but is that going to stick though okay so wait one minion is going to be killed next turn by the mk boss plus disciple oh cthune. shadow flame um, oh. oh that's not good so we're going to see this this trade out but that's going to be two more minions put on board mm -hmm. Despite the minion being removed, so a CJ is actually playable next turn if you attack into the MK boss, right? Yeah, one of them is playable. That's correct. So, do you just no? What you can do? You do, do it? No, 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 no. What you can do is you can attack into the MK boss, use Forbidden Ritual, and then oh wait, no, yeah, use Forbidden Ritual, and then you can just play a CJ for free. You can do that, but you're really vulnerable to something like. Hellfire, Shadow Flame. You get to play stuff. both, though. How do yeah. you kill? How do you true, kill true. both? It's true. Hey, he has a BGH, man. That's only one, though, man. Uh, no, they all they cost one. No, it would have been the same amount of minions. Dude. What he needed to do was send the uh, Argent Squire into it as a one-one, yeah, yeah, one then one. Yeah, that, trade. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like he then he trade the, the uh, councilman, council, councilman, yeah. councilman into it. Yeah, that's what I said. He popped the. Uh, he yeah, popped he did the, the little ordering yeah. wrong. He yeah. pumped the wrong minion. Yeah. He just wanted to actually just do more face damage because missing five damage, a little bit rough, right? Not really. What yeah. Now, now we guys? see. Yeah, I think that might have cost him a lot because yeah. now he has two dead cards in his hand. Yeah, that would have been really hard for a Nasa. He could have had sixteen. Yeah, yeah, he could have had sixteen power on the board and almost no way for the mm -hmm. the Reno deck to deal with it. So he's starting to find an answer, and I do like that he is playing the uh, Leroy Jenkins variant with double C giant. Like we're not seeing this like double Doom Guard with double C giant, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we see the apothecary <laughs> doing right. some work. So we're likely to see what? Yeah, that makes it so it costs one, and you, oh, or it costs one less, so it costs four, and, and then you get to play the one drop what? or Soulfire. But then no, you can't no, play no, 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 no. I wouldn't want to play Soulfire here. Or I you can just trade minions fire. to kill off the apothecary. Yeah. yeah, one drop is pretty nice because you can also, like, put it. You in just with really the want to develop a sea giant. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because you could have developed both of them like two turns you ago. So you, you might as well just try and start developing them now. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna watch it die to BGH. Yeah. Oh man, BGH Valley. I haven't seen that for so long. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Turn five, BGH. Turn five, BGH. No, turn six. Turn six. Oh, wasn't that sure. Was close. Was close. We're probably gonna see a trade here. Shadow Flame is quite scary as well. Yeah. Uh, do you trade the peddler? Yeah, you trade the peddler. You also you want the priestess to be alive. You want to get as much value out of it as possible. Oh, where are you trying to get the value out from, man? You're gonna make the uh, CGI an eight nine. Then. That's the best. So you 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 tap. Uh, you can tap an earth and then just play, play the uh, beckoner. If you if that's what you would want to do, okay. If he doesn't, okay. If he doesn't tap first, yeah. So he's looking yeah to shadow play. Eh, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Next thing he's like, able to tap into Reno, so he's in no kind of rush. I, I don't even think you still need to tap, right? You can, but yeah, he doesn't really need to. You can play Beckner and then Reno. All right, well, you don't need to Reno, but yeah. After the after this, pound to the face. 
after taking 13 damage to the face? I mean, it's pretty difficult or, if you can find a board clear, which he did not. Oh, he did not. Interesting. So he's just going to trade his uh, Leroy. I feel not to play Brand first, so he doesn't give his opponent an extra two minions. <laughs> oh, very heads up, very heads, very heads up. up play. Yeah, very... And also, Brand's not that bad on this board. He's actually probably going to get some value. See, like I said, like he didn't have to play Reno. No, he did top deck that uh, Leroy, though. Is he dead? Oh! 10 damage? Oh. He top decked it. Nice. So despite being stuck with double C giant in hand, he was able to find the answer. Yeah. See, maybe, see, that's why I thought Reno was a little bit better there, because around that kind of range is pretty scary. But then again, 